EAAs. Why have I not seen EAAs before? We all know that protein is so imperative for your muscle growth and repair, but what happens if we're in a caloric deficit and what happens if our protein intake is low, we're losing weight, could we be sacrificing muscle? And so today, I'm gonna talk about these delicious guys called EAAs. First, I wanna start with this brand. This is the brand that I recommend. I've tried a bunch of the EAAs so far, the different brands, and the problem with EAAs, which stands for essential amino acids, is that they don't taste good and they don't smell good. In fact, I've tried taking amino acids before without any flavoring, and first of all, the pills are like this big, impossible to swallow, and they taste absolutely nasty. So to try and hide the EAA taste is going to be very tough, and this is the only brand that I found that actually tastes good. I'm not even sure how they got BCAAs to taste great, but BCAAs taste a lot better <laughs> than the EAAs. That brand right there is the only brand that I found that tastes good, so that's the one that I'm telling you to go take. Now, let's explain what they are. So BCAAs are imperative to help protein grow within the muscle cells so that the muscles grow. But BCAAs, your body can naturally produce them internally. Whereas EAAs, which means that they're essential, means that they must be consumed. And I know some of us are in a pretty low caloric deficit at times, and especially if you extend your deficit, let's say you finish a belly burn challenge with me and you extend your deficit by another week, you could still be losing weight, you could still be losing fat, but you could be pulling nutrients from your muscles because of the lack of total calories and more importantly, the lack of protein. So even if you're consuming 50 to 60 grams of protein or 50 to 60% of your intake from protein, your overall protein consumption could be low. Now when it comes to taking in protein, general, general like guidelines is to have one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Now that's if you're a fairly lean individual, if you're in a 30 plus percent muscle, then yeah, that equation would apply to you. And at that sense, if you're only taking in 125 grams of protein, yet you weigh 160 pounds, well then you have a big deficit where you could be sacrificing muscle at the same time losing weight and fat. So what I want you to do is I still want you to lose weight and fat if that is your primary target, but we wanna try and spare as much muscle in the process as possible, and we're gonna be doing that by supplementing it with EAAs. Now how would you take this? My recommendation that is, and if you know and you work with me, on your lower calorie days, then you would wanna probably consume two scoops a day. Now the thing about the EAAs, they are heavily sweetened and that's to get rid of the nasty taste that they create, but at the same time, uh, they will break your fast. So if you're trying to do intermittent fasting for fat loss versus just doing a more time condensed caloric burn, then I would tell you that it will break your fast or at least it'll create an insulin response. So I would tell you to drink this kind of like the middle of the day. This is also a great drink to have before you go to bed. To me, it has a sweeter taste to it, so you can blend it with some ice and it turns into a, like a, a fake mojito. But you could blend it or you can just add some ice and just drink it on the regular as like a sweet drink, especially if you have that sweet tooth like me. Me personally, I used to drink the Zevias before I go to sleep. Not be right before I go to bed, but that was my last thing just because I wanted something sweet after I had my dinner. And the EAAs is the replacement for that Zevia. The Zevia is basically just like flavored water, so there's really no nutrients, there's no benefits to drinking it outside of the taste. Whereas the EAAs has the taste and it has the benefits of building muscle. So the EAA uh, Believe brand is the one that I'm gonna recommend for you and I'm gonna highly recommend for you to take it when you're in your caloric deficit. If you're in a base or if you're in a surplus of your calories and you're consuming at least one gram per body pound, you know, up to, you have to be in that 30 plus range of muscle, then I would tell you that you probably don't need to supplement with EAAs, but when you're in your caloric deficit, especially like in that week four of the belly burn, then EAAs are going to be essential for you to continue to lose weight, drop body fat, and build muscle. Now, I hope you like this video. I hope you go out and pick up the EAAs. We do have them for sale at the gym. You can buy them online anywhere. They're available. The Believe is the brand that I promote. I have no affiliation with them. They're just the brand that tastes the best. So I'd recommend that for you. 
Guys, give the video a like. And if you've tried the EAAs, the Believe brand, let me know which flavor is the best flavor. So far, I've tried a couple of them. I know what my favorite is. I wanna know what your favorite is. I'll see you on the next video.